I got one. Oh, she got me. Welcome back to Fishers and Men. This is my wife and our baby that we had. We have a child, her name is Samantha. And today we're going to talk about <laughs> our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and God the Father. And as long as Courtney is permitting me to film this, that's as long as we're gonna film this. So with our baby, our responsibility as parents is going to have to be to raise her up in the Lord. We don't care if she makes $500,000, if she has a perfect poster boy husband, what we care about is that she makes it to heaven and that's our responsibility. The Bible talks about sparing the rod is actually hating your child. So discipline is good. How do you feel about me as a husband? Do you feel good about me as a husband? Mm -hmm. How do you feel about being a mother? Tiring. What's a good Bible verse for her, you think? One that really makes you think about our situation and being new parents. I don't know. The Bible says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, Samantha. Jesus Christ tells us how to pray in Matthew 6, 9 through 13. And if you'd like to pray right now, we can do that and teach her how to pray to our Father in heaven who is not Jesus Christ. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Close Samantha, your eyes. I did actually. Samantha, that is how we are supposed to pray. Our Lord Jesus Christ tells us how to pray. And that is what we're supposed to do. We pray to our Father. In Matthew 6, 6, it says to pray to our Father in heaven in our closets. We're supposed to have that intimate relationship. So one day, Samantha is going to look back on this video, hopefully, and she's going to say, my Father loves me, but your Heavenly Father loves you more. I'm just your earthly father. A lot of people don't think too highly of earthly fathers. Their role is diminished in society with feminism and a lot of angry women, like the one sitting next to me. She's only angry sometimes. It's a really weird looking bug. Do you see it? Yeah, I do see it. What is that? I don't know. I don't know, I'm about to leave. So we're gonna close out pretty soon probably because Courtney spotted a bug. But in 1 Corinthians 11.3 it says that the head of the woman is the man. The head of the man is Christ. The head of Christ is God. That is the order that God has established and we are to follow that. We are not to break any of God's commands. Samantha, one day I'm gonna teach you the Ten Commandments and we're going to go over them and we're going to understand that we are not good. Right now, Samantha is innocent and she has not committed any sins because she is not of the age of accountability and she doesn't know right from wrong yet. Make but she mind. was born into a fallen world, which we live in. We live in a fallen world right now, Samantha. And that's because of sin. That's because of Adam's wife, Eve, who is tempted by the devil. And that's why we don't listen to women a lot of the times is because of that most of the times, unless they give good biblical advice. But man sinned against God, therefore the perfect world that God had made, is now we live in a fallen world. And the person who controls this world is the prince of the power of the air, the devil. And you were born, Samantha, but one day you're gonna have to be born again. Jesus said, unless a man is born of the water and of the spirit, in John 3, three through five, he can't enter the kingdom of God. Samantha, one day she is gonna be born again, and we're gonna lead her up to know Jesus Christ. He is before all, and he has to live inside of us. And that is how we become Christians. We become one with Christ when he lives inside of us. There's ants. And we carry there. his spirit. There's ants last time I filmed. <laughs> Logan, I'm done. All right, Courtney's out, and I'm here with my lovely daughter, Samantha Grace. But well, one day I do hope Samantha watches this video, how much your dad has prayed for you constantly that you are greater in the kingdom than me that your mom's greater in the kingdom than me i just want to make it our goal in life is just to make it to heaven and jesus dying on the cross that made it possible for us samantha because when you're old enough to choose right or wrong you're probably going to choose wrong but as long as you turn to jesus turn away from those sins and remember that god sent his son to die on a cross that if you put your faith in him God's grace and the blood of Jesus Christ will cover you. We have to walk according to the will of the Father, submitting to Jesus Christ in the Word of God. 